Benvenuti scholars. Today we're going to talk about five reasons why my students frequently choose qualitative research and two important points you should consider before launching a qualitative research study. The first reason, no math. The second reason, small sample sizes or easier access to data. Three, it's interactive. Four, it allows them to deeply explore a topic of their passion. And number five, it's flexible. But the two things that you need to consider, it's very laborious and time extensive. And two, it has IRV implications and the application process is not always easy. As I noted earlier, the first and most prevalent answer I hear from students on why they choose qualitative research is because it has no math in it. I believe this is an irrational fear and in my next video when I talk about quantitative research, I'll talk about why that should not be a reason to choose qualitative research. In qualitative studies, you may only need 10 to 20 participants and it may be easier to access those type of participants or that number of participants than in a quantitative study that may take 60, 70, or even more than 100 participants. It's interactive. It's very human. Most or often in qualitative studies, you're talking about interviews and focus groups and observations and human processes where the researcher is actively engaged with the participants and for many students, they find that the fun part of qualitative research. The next reason I often hear for choosing this methodology is that they get to go deeply into a topic that's close to their hearts or something that they have a lot of passion for. And so a lot of people don't understand this or don't maybe think about this, but when you do a study on a human phenomenon, perhaps at a school or in some other setting, you become one of the top experts on that particular setting. And many uh, emerging qualitative researchers find that very attractive to doing their studies. And the last reason why I hear students choose qualitative methodology to do their studies is that it's flexible. The nature of qualitative research allows you as a researcher to do an interview and based on the feedback you're getting from your participants to explore different angles that perhaps you hadn't expected to come out. In some cases, you can do your interviews, collect your data and go back to the participants and explore some of these emerging themes that came out so that you can bring out new emergent themes and perhaps things that you didn't expect. Now, I also noticed there's two things that you must consider when doing qualitative research. And while many students say they choose it because there's no math, you must understand that qualitative research is laborious and time ex extensive. Uh, consider a normal qualitative study where perhaps they collect 30 to 50 open-ended questionnaires, they conduct 10 to 20 interviews, and maybe two focus groups. Now, how long does it take to hold 10 to 20 hour long or 90 minute interviews? That in and of itself is time extensive. And then to hold a couple hour long or 90 minute focus groups. Then consider all of the data that you've just collected. And now you're looking at somewhere near 150 pages of transcripts that you have to comb through, thematically analyze, and come out with themes and recommendations in your research. Just reading those alone and thematically analyzing those alone can take well into a month. Then consider writing a qualitative study where your data are words and themes. And naturally, if you'll do the research, qualitative dissertations tend to be significantly longer than quantitative dissertations. So there's more writing to do, which also takes time. The second consideration when looking at qualitative research would be IRB. When you're interacting with other human beings, IRB generally will require an expedited study 
or a full review before you're approved to collect your data. Now in subsequent videos, we'll talk more about IRB, but know that an expedited review or a full review takes more time than an exempt review. Um, and in this case, if we're going to do interviews and interact with humans, we're at least going to be an expedited review. So there you have it, the five reasons why my doctoral students choose qualitative methodology when doing their dissertation, and two important considerations to keep in mind before you make your choice. If you've chosen a topic, or if you've used qualitative research, post in the comments why. Thank you, and I uh, hope this is valuable to you.